All right, what's up, boys? Welcome back to No Money Spent. Um, I don't even remember really what the last thing I did was. I might have opened up packs for the tops now and the uh, the most recent player of the month set, which was for the Charlie Blackman one. I think that might have been what I did last, but I don't remember exactly. Um, and so basically, I just want to show you guys where I am right now, what my next couple steps are in the series, what I'm going to be going for next, and just kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, my strategy going forward. I'm currently sitting at a level 84 silver with 44,000 stubs. Um, so I'm getting closer to level 1 gold, which means I'll be able to take another signature series at 100. I'll probably take uh, Frank Thomas for this go around. Um, so yeah, I'm working towards that. Still got 15 levels to go. Um, but uh, where I'm at with my stubs, it's a little bit interesting right now because I have stuff to do. Like there's definitely things I could use my stubs on. Um, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do it because they did just uh, start this new stub sale that's lasting through the weekend. So in this episode, I might not actually buy anything with my stubs. I'm probably just going to go ahead and bank some stubs and get a bigger stub count. So that way in the next episode, I might have a little bit more to do. Um... Because as you guys know, with the stub sale, usually that means prices go up on the market because stubs are easier to uh, come by, supply and demand with all these cards. It's pretty easy to, to see how the market's moving. And right now, live series prices are uh, really expensive. They've really gotten inflated. Like Mike Trout's all the way up to 180,000. Nolan Arenado is the next card that I need, and he's all the way up to 90,000. So with me trying to get these live series collections done i don't think it'd be a smart move for me to do this this week um i'll probably wait till the next episode to buy nolan arenado even though i do have some stuff to open up and some stuff to do that could get me closer to this ninety thousand sub count but anyway let me tell you guys what i've done since the last episode um the real thing i've been focusing on is the fifth inning program I'm currently sitting at 172 stars um I'm getting closer to 200, obviously at 300 I'm going to get my boss. Once again, I'm probably just going to sell the boss, try to get these stars uh, so I can get there quickly and uh, try to get some more live series diamonds to continue collections on my way towards uh, Willie Mays. Um, but what I've done so far in the program, I have 172 stars without uh, the voucher and I basically started like yesterday. Like I haven't really done anything other than that. So the moments, I really did all the moments, although there were a new set of of moments added today with the same face new place which gives me a set 17 headliner bonus reward as well so I am gonna do those for the next video I'm not gonna do those right now just because I don't have time I'm trying to get a video out I don't think I posted one last week so I want to get you guys some more videos um, but I did the first two set of moments the fifth inning bosses and the this day in history I got 3,000 stubs from this one 2300 from this one with a 5,000 bonus on each so do the math there to see how much I got um, also with the Sony partner moments, uh, I do have the uh, Harper that I need to get um, and I'll probably go ahead and just do my own Sony partner moments. They're pretty easy just to get a 91 overall signature series, even though I probably won't use Bartolo on this account. Um, I definitely want to get just cards and keep adding to my inventory. So uh, we'll keep doing that. Uh, the next thing I did is the conquest from the fifth inning. Uh, board so I finished up this one. Um, I did all the goals So I do have all the rewards from that and as far as the program the next things I have to do is really just that new set of moments which is gonna get me even more stars and then I just have to win the 10 games and rank seasons battle royale or events and uh, once I do those two things I'll probably be pretty close to 300 stars so by the next video I should have my fifth inning choice pack ready to go so that is what you can be expecting um, I am going to attempt to make World Series again uh, I wasn't able to make it in the last season just because I didn't have enough time but this time around I'll probably be starting to really get on the grind for that next week once I uh, once this weekend ends uh, next week on stream I'll probably start hitting up the ranked seasons pretty hard to try to get World Series on both accounts um, and just try to get there so I can get the Ty Cobb card to sell this for uh, I don't even know what he's going for right now but I could really really use those stubs just to continue doing my collections this Ty Cobb is insane one of the best cards in the game but I would rather use him to complete collections especially when I'm getting division rewards and stuff like that 
So uh, the team doesn't look any different, really. I haven't added any pieces or anything like that. I've just been really grinding offline um, moments and conquest. And I do have quite a bit of packs to open up. So that is going to be nice. Um, one thing I do want to let you guys know is the new conquest board, the one that has that 85 overall Jeff Samarja, is actually a really, really good conquest map. When you look at the rewards, they don't actually look all that good. Um, but there are a bunch of hidden rewards that are extremely good. You have uh, two Ballin' is a Habit packs, which give you a 1 in 10 chance to get a diamond, and they guarantee you a gold. And then you have a All-Star Game pack and a Home Run Derby pack, those, as well as regular show packs and standard packs and stuff like that. Those are all hidden on the actual map, so if you haven't done the Jeff Samarja one, make sure to do that, because you're going to get some good uh, rewards and good packs out of that. So it's just free stubs that you're sitting on if you haven't done it yet. So uh, I'll probably try to have this done by the next video as well, um, just to kind of keep going and keep moving up and try to get closer to level 100. But anyway, let me show you guys what packs I have to open up because I have quite a few packs to open. The, once again, this is literally all from just playing offline, playing the moments, playing the conquest. None of these were even bought from the pack store. Uh, you know, it's just, it's from the XP reward path, the program, all this stuff. I really just haven't done anything other than that. So uh, we've got 10 standard packs to open up. We've got 14 show packs, remember, all from the uh, XP reward path in the program. Program. We've got our championship series reward pack, which doesn't have anything in it, it just has the gold player. Um, we got an exclusive gold flashback or legend pitcher. We got a gold equipment item, a exclusive high diamond player, and then our first of three uh, fifth inning choice pack. So this is the lower one at 100 stars. So we're going to get a diamond out of it, but it's not going to be like a crazy diamond that you're going to lose your mind over, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get into these packs really quick. Um, let's start it off with the gold equipment. The gold equipment really isn't that big of a deal. We did get this compression sleeve, which I'm probably just going to go ahead and sell here for the 327 stubs. Puts me at a little bit over 45,000 now. So that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and open up our championship series reward pack to see which gold player we're going to get. We got our diamond nameplate, and we got a Didi Gregorius. I do already have the Yankees completed, so I'll probably just go ahead and quick sell him for a thousand stubs I really have no use for him other than that we have the entire American League already completed in our collection so we're gonna go ahead and get another thousand stubs there then we have our exclusive gold flashback or legend pitcher from the XP reward path these ones also go for just about a thousand stubs and by the way I do not plan on doing anything towards Honus Wagner's collection on this account so I'm not gonna worry about keeping all stars and breakouts and rookies and stuff like that I'm just going to try and get uh, as many stubs as I can because that's pretty much the goal. So whoever I take right here, I'm probably just going to go ahead and sell for about around 1,000 stubs. So let's go ahead and take uh, Rick Porcello, uh, the 2016 hardware card. So we're going to go ahead and take him. Um, I'm not going to quick sell him. I'm going to go check him out on the market to see if maybe he goes for a little bit more. All right, so these two diamond packs will save for last. I'm going to open up these two packs first. So we've got 10 standard packs. Let's see what we're getting out of these. Maybe we can get a little bit lucky. I've actually pulled a couple diamonds lately on my main account, so I'm hoping some of that diamond luck actually translates over here to the no money spent account and into these packs. Although I did just get lucky on this account with the the tops now pulls. I had some really good ones. I had I think I pulled that Otani or that no I pulled the Cattell Marte. That's what it was, and I sold that card, and we were able to complete some more collections. Um, and I'm currently still trying to uh, complete that National League West. Once again, the next card I'm going to be acquiring on this account is that Live Series Nolan Arenado. We got a gold player. We got a Lorenzo Cain. I'm going to go ahead and quick sell him for 1,000 because I'm pretty sure he doesn't go for anything more than that. So that's another 1,000 stubs right there that we're getting easily. Um, but yeah, Nolan Arenado is the next card. Dude, back-to-back -back golds. Hey, we got Otani. Once again, he's only going for 1,000 sell now, so we'll go ahead and quick sell him for 1,000. We're just making thousands of stubs just like that no real other strategy to it just getting some nice pulls out of these packs um and uh what was i even saying about the uh 
the thing. Oh yeah, so once I get Nolan Arenado, I'll be able to complete the Colorado Rockies collection, and that will get me um, the NL West completion, which will get me Rob Nen, which is actually going to be huge because I need that Rob Nen card. I need some bullpen help really, really badly, so that will be really helpful. Um, also, I haven't done anything for the events on this account. Um, I really haven't had the time to sit there and actually grind out an event, so uh, I'll, I'll think about doing the next one, maybe the Actually, I don't want to do that because I don't really have any tops now or flashbacks or anything like that um, for that event. So maybe we'll wait to the next event. I just I can't even get Lee Smith on this account or um, or I technically if I got four vouchers and then two in the next one, I could get Lee Smith. But it's going to end by the end of the weekend and I just won't have the time for that. So I probably won't get Lee Smith or Edgar Martinez, which kind of sucks because that's just stubs I'm sitting on. But, you know, I'm trying to manage two accounts while making videos and working. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to to find the time to do no money spent as accurately as accurately as I would like to. So um, we've got nine packs remaining. Hopefully we get something good out of here in these show packs. These do have the better odds. We pull two silvers with the Iglesias and the Mitch Garver. Eight packs remaining before we get into those two guaranteed diamond packs. More bronzes. Seven more packs here. Um, another silver. Pedro Strope. Who else we got, boys? Are we going to get anything good out of these packs? Another silver, James McCann. Okay, so we haven't pulled a bronze in that final card in a while. We've been getting pretty good with these silvers. Another one, Alex Colome from the Chicago White Sox. Four more packs. Let's see if there's any sort of good luck coming out of here. Nope, not Dominic Leon. That's not who I want. Three more to go. Uh, we got a gold thing in the beginning. We got a Tyler Olsen, Peter O'Brien, uh, gold glove right there. Come on, man. Give me something good. Give me something good. We've pulled nothing but only golds in the other packs. How did I pull golds and nothing in these packs? Wow, nothing. Matt Davidson. Definitely not the best, uh, best bit of pulls right there. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our fifth inning program card. We've got the Matt Williams. We've got uh, Sengwa O oh and... Um, Gio Gonzalez. I'm probably just going to sell this card. Really no reason to hold on to any of these cards. Probably just take Matt Williams, select him, quick sell him for 5000 Actually, he might be going for a little bit more than 5000 um, So I'll take a look at him on the market just because of the, the Wagner collection. The all-star cards usually are a little bit more expensive. All right, so then we've got this pack. Once again, um, I'm going to go with the easy pick right here and take Trevor Hoffman just because I need bullpen help. I would love to have Ichiro, but Ichiro is going to have to wait until the next um, time we get this pack just because, once again, bullpen is hands down the weakest part of my roster right now. I need all the bullpen help I can get, and 96 Trevor Hoffman is one of the better relievers you can actually pick up in this game, so we're going to go ahead and take him right there. So Trevor Hoffman, closing pitcher, is on the squad and uh, that is going to do it for the packs. Well, actually, one thing I can do, I don't know if I've done this yet, um, signature series. Okay, I have done this. I have collected the five signatures, so um, I don't get those packs. But any of these other things I've collected, only one there, hardware. I'm just looking to see if there's any free packs I can get. Not necessarily because I want to keep any of these cards, just because free packs would be obviously nice. Veteran, I need 15 of them. Yeah, I only have six. All-Star, I'm going to need 40. I definitely don't have 40 All-Stars. Breakout, I need... 30 nope rookies i need 15 for a show pack I only have 13 okay so nothing there no more free packs we're going to be getting from that one so uh it is what it is but yeah we didn't really pull anything good out of our packs nothing really worth it i need to go check that matt williams card really quick to see what he is uh probably going for Diamondbacks, Matt Williams. Okay, so I can quick sell him. I thought he would be going for a little bit more just because he's an all-star card and uh, people might be looking for him. So we'll go ahead and quick sell him for the 5,000 stubs because with the stub tax and I sell him, it's it's just going to be 5,000 at the same time. So it's not even worth putting him up on the market. We'll go ahead and just quick sell this diamond for uh, 5,000 stubs. Boom. And just like that, he's gone. But we are 5,000 stubs richer. Um, let's take a look at Rick Porcello as well. 
Uh, he's an 84. Let's see what he's going for. View in markets. Okay, so I can put him up and get like a couple like extra stubs, like 1474. Okay, so I'm getting about 300 stubs by selling him on the market versus uh, quick selling him for a thousand. And then I've got this Dennis Eckersley I can probably sell too. I don't think he's in my starting rotation, so he's only going for 1200 though. So it might not even be worth it. Let's see, 1200. What would he be getting me with the stub tax? 1274. I'd be making another 150 stubs, but I'm not using him for anything, so I might as well just go ahead and sell him and uh, put him up there. Um, and I believe that is all we had to sell. Pedro Severino. I don't really plan on keeping this card. That's another 700 stubs I'm just sitting on right there. 776. Boom. So. Perfect. I'll take that once that ends up selling. You just got to look for little cards like that in your inventory that are just kind of collecting dust that you're not using. Unless you're using them to like set an event team or something like that, then there's really no point. Like this gold Babe Ruth right here, I can just sell this one for $12.48. I don't even know where this card comes from. I think he's a card just available in packs. I get another 123 stubs out of it. So you just keep an eye on your inventory for stuff like that, guys. There might be stuff sitting there like Alex Colome. I have have no real use for this card and he's going for 3300 stubs i think he may be in my bullpen at the moment but let's see 33 or actually 3299 let's see if he's in my bullpen nope that's 3000 stubs i'm just sitting on man i don't need that card that card is not very good he's not going to do anything for me and once again i don't plan on completing the wagner collections so i'm not really going to be worried about who i'm selling and who i'm keeping um, Justin Smoke is actually a decent card to keep. That one I'm keeping more for the uh, the pinch hit capability than anything. So, yep, that's what we got so far, guys. Um, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do here before I actually jump into the gameplay. Let me just go ahead and set my team really quick with the new stuff I got. I'm going to go ahead and take out Kirby Yates just because I don't really like Kirby Yates. I'm going to throw Trevor Hoffman in there. Um, the rest of the team is still about the same. we still got Osuna's. Cecil, Carson Smith. Um, I would like to use Kenley instead of Carson Smith, but Kenley is playing down to an 85, which is technically still even better than what Carson Smith is bringing to the table. He's only got three pitches. Kenley has uh, three pitches as well, so Either way, it's actually not really that huge of an upgrade. Ryan Presley is playing up to an 87 with four different pitches. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, that's really what the rotation and the lineup is looking like. Not a lot has changed there, really. Um, the team is pretty much looking exactly the same. Lindor at short, Senzel at second. Uh, we got Bautista and Gallo at the corners with Snyder, Trout, and Lofton in the outfield. So I think the team looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a ranked seasons game, get some gameplay with the squad today. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video. Let's see how the No Money Spent team does today. Okay, we're taking on the Georgia Dirty Birds, and this is actually my first game of the season. This guy's got the full signature series set up, and we're facing 92-1 Marischal. He chose Donaldson, it looks like, as his boss, Omar Vizquel at shorts. He's got the pitcher batting eighth, so this is going to be one of those interesting games. All right, we got Kenny Lofton. Dude, Kenny Lofton has actually been one of my starters on my main account lately, and he's been so good, man. Kenny Lofton... Honestly, he doesn't have a signature series at the moment, but Kenny Lofton is straight up one of the best cards in the game. Like, that is probably going to drop. Yep, just like that. We're going to stay at first. I didn't really read that that well, but Kenny Lofton just finds a way to get on base all the time. Oh, I missed that with Trout. That's a pop-up. Yikes. Ooh, Duke Snyder. The, ah, they were playing him deep. I probably would have got that down if they weren't playing him so deep. By the way, please don't play at Minute Maid Park in online play. Minute Maid Park is literally the worst park to play at in the entire game for online play. It's so, like, laggy. Not, like, laggy like you can't play, but, like, it just, it's so choppy. Don't play at Minute Maid. And Gallo's grounding out. So that leadoff hit does not end up scoring. Tough scene. Yo, I have a question for you guys, because uh, I know a lot of people always ask me this. It's like, yo, why are your jerseys so ugly on No Money Spent? I, I know for a fact they're disgustingly ugly. I would never really like to wear jerseys like these, but I just think it's kind of funny to have, you know, a team that has just super ugly unis when I feel like mine on my main account are so clean. I don't know. So 
this I, I don't want to take advantage of anybody, but because I know people pay for stuff like that on you know through through means like through Twitter and stuff like that, people will find stuff to do it. But if anybody wants to make a no money spent logo and you know give me like a color scheme for my uniforms, if anybody's good at that. Feel free. Let me know if you guys make one. Feel free to tweet it at me or something, and I might put it on. Maybe I'll just cycle through a few of them for videos and stuff like that if that's something you guys would be interested uh, to be uh, to be doing because that way maybe I can get you guys involved in the series a little bit more. That's a great swing from Lindor. Damn, that is a missile. That's a double. Nick Senzel. Oh, no. I just freaking choked, dude. There we go, Pudge. Ah, oh, that's going to stay up in the air for too long. It's going to stay up for Willie Mays. That could have got him to third, too. Oral Hershizer deep in the hole. Vizquel made the play. Kind of choked myself out of an inning right there. I really wish I had more gameplay to show you guys from this one, but there's really nothing that interesting to show. I mean, we've got a pitcher's duel. I mean, I guess it's a pitcher's duel, but we're both actually hitting the ball fairly well i gotta give a little bit of credit to my opponent he has gotten a couple of those late week um you know those little bloop shots of course um i think i got one with kenny lofton early so i guess it's fair but he has lined out a couple times as well i've lined out a lot this game so i mean i guess it's a pitcher's duel even though we are both hitting the ball kind of hard Oh my god, that is right there. I have to be earlier on that, dude. That should be over that small left field wall, bro. Duke Snyder, that's going to be a two-out knock. Just a single, though. There we go. Yes, I didn't miss that one. The two-out base hit from Duke Snyder was huge because it gave Joey Bats a chance. And you know what Joey Bats does, boys. Home run over that left field wall. That was just okay contact, too. I don't know how that went that far, but I'm not even going to freaking care about it right now. I'm just trying to win a game. It's a good hit. That's actually a good hit. I gave him a cutter on the outside part of the plate. Got it off the end of the bat. He's going to be running on this. No, he's not going to be running. I'll take the pop-up all day. He's running here. I gave him the slide step. Wait. 99 Pudge, by the way. Can't even hold the ball. Nice pitch. All right, striking out the pitcher. Now we got to face Pudge. There it is. Striking him out. My goodness. I still can't believe Pudge didn't grab the ball. Oh, my God. Is Pudge going the other way? Pudge just did an oppo taco a home run, all right? I, I think that makes up for the uh, the missed play behind the dish. I'll cut him a break now. Ooh, baby. Mike Trout just crushed that thing. That's off the base of the wall. That's an easy two bases. Beautiful swing. Ooh, that ball was crushed up the middle. 83 speed, we're gonna test that arm. Looks like he's going to throw to second. And I'm out at second. But at least the run scores. I thought he was going to throw a home right there. Okay. We'll take it, though. 5 nothing. There you go, Pudge. Dude, Pudge is killing the right side of the field today. He's got a home run and a single over there. And he had a, a fly ball to right center field that got caught earlier. Pudge is going oppo today. I like it. Try to get a bunt down. Pudge is over to second. The sacrifice works perfectly. We've got another guy in scoring position. There we go. He's going to be at third now. Look at Pudge, bro. He's getting around the bases quick. And Kenny Lofton does his job. Look at that, bro. Pudge gets a single and then uses his speed, and we use our outs effectively. We get him to score. It's now 6 nothing. Another run. Duke Snyder with another RBI on the day. All right, so we're going for the complete game with Oral Hershiser today. Tony Gwynn starting off the ninth. My opponent did get a run, I think, in the eighth inning. Um, he got Ricky Henderson over to second, and then a base hit, I believe, with Pudge or Donaldson, one of the two. And, uh, yeah, he was able to drive him in. So that's how he got his one run. Nothing crazy. And he's going to start off this inning with a base hit. He is pretty much, like, timing up Oral Hershiser really well. So I'm just hoping that he doesn't get a little rally going at this point. 
Yeah, that is not gonna get caught. We might have to warm up Trevor Hoffman and see how Trevor Hoffman does, dude. I love Oral Hershiser, but, you know, after eight innings, eight plus innings of seeing the same sinker over and over again, timing it up is not gonna become that difficult. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and let uh, Trevor Hoffman come in here. Swing and a line drive. That's a fair ball. Okay, all of a sudden my opponent is getting runs and hits. I don't know if I like it. Come on, get him out a second. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Get the out. He messed up on the base paths this time. There we go. Loft and ground ball to second base. Okay, we got two down. Just looking for one more now. 72 speed. Lindor should have him with a strong throw, and he does. The game is over. We win our ranked seasons game for today. It honestly felt a lot closer than it was. I mean, I outscored him. I outhit him. I think I outpitched him. Uh, he had a really good game with Willie Mays. A couple other guys got an RBI, but for the most part, I think I really was outplaying him. Just a couple bad pitches in the late innings. He got a couple runs, started to go on a couple little rallies right there. But overall, we came out of here with a W. Jose Bautista with that home run, two RBIs at a double. Pudge also had that opposite field home run. Kenny Lofton doing what Kenny Lofton does. The team is just really friggin' good, and I hope that this no money spent series has continued to show you guys that you do not need a 99 overall team to win games in ranked seasons so keep working on your teams guys don't worry about spending any money because you really don't need to hopefully you guys have found some good cards and maybe got some suggestions from this series but anyway if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button on it subscribe to the channel if you're new for the next no money spent as well as all the other new videos coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next one peace